Finally, monthly analysis, we can do it in the month of November. By the way, happy month. Today is 1st of November. I've been waiting to do this video. Why? Because I want at least to put my mind together. So in the lesson 60, I think lesson 61 and 62, we'll be talking of first we do monthly analysis and I have 21 pairs, guys. I want us to uh, discuss and know what is happening. Then in the next video, 61, maybe I'll tell you uh, the pairs that you should avoid completely and the pairs that you should trade. So this will be a very, very important video. So you have to watch until the end. Take your notebook if you're writing some key points. And let's get started. So the first pair that you will start, always know that the major pairs, we have three major pairs. I don't know if you guys you know the three major pairs we have. We have three major pairs. Number one, GBP USD. Number two, Euro USD. And number three, Audi USD. So these are the major pairs that we have. So anytime you want to analyze, at least put one in your analysis. Why? Because once you put one major pair, you're good to go. So these are the major pairs that we have and, and I'll be even involving them in this analysis, but we are analyzing 20 pairs. So let's see the first pair, of course, we'll start with GBPUSD. I love this pair so much. GBPUSD is our first pair and we are just, just checking monthly. We are not going to weekly. We are not, we just want to identify. We are identifying three things in the monthly analysis. Monthly, analysis so monthly analysis number one we'll check market structure number two we'll check what price action number three we'll check for x pattern so do we have a pattern that has been confirmed so those are the three things we are doing market structure price action and forex pattern so when we come to when we come to GBPUSD, the market structure, the market structure is a bit confusing. Why? Because this market has been coming from above here. You can see the market was coming from above. And now we can see that the market all of a sudden for three months, the market has been going down. So for me, I'm not sure what the market structure of GBPUSD. Um, if I squeeze the chart, if I squeeze the chart, we had uh, previously, we had this double top. We had this double top. So this double top might be um, the market, you see, it went down. Then this one can be taken as a retracement. So for me, I'm thinking for the market structure is not yet clear. Is it an uptrend? Is it a downtrend? I'm not sure, guys. I won't lie to you. GBPUSD, when you look at the monthly, it seems like a buy. But when you zoom out, it looks like a sell, like this is a, um, it's called what a retracement. So for me, I, I want to believe that the market structure is not clear. That's what I'll say. Let's go to price action. <laughs> the price action of that, of this month, oh my God. This, this candle is called spinning top. It's a rejection candle. And uh, the fact that it's a rejection, it has rejected both sides. It means that we are, we don't even have an idea what the market want to do. This candle was clear that sellers were having the day, like they were in control. But now this candle, the spinning top. Guys, what do you think? What do you think on GBPUSD? What do you think on GBPUSD? The spinning top, is it to sell the market or is it to buy the market? So when we come to Forex pattern, I have kept saying about Forex pattern. You see now, market structure not clear. Price action not clear. Market structure, there is a double bottom that has been uh, 1985. There's a double bottom of 1985. There's this double bottom. So there's the biggest double bottom of 19, 1985. I have that double bottom. If you had not seen, there's that double bottom. And this double bottom, this one is our neckline. 
you see farthest here. So if we measure our half, according to our, the first pattern, the market is telling us, <clears throat> is telling us it will buy. Follow closely because I have to guide to give you guidelines. So this this becomes our what P1. This is our P1, our pattern one. So we need to look for pattern two. So when we come here after pattern one is given, after pattern one is given, guys, do we have a pattern two? Yes. And you see we have pattern two. So we get pattern two. We get pattern two and it is this double top. Very clear. Can you see? So this becomes our pattern two, P2. And I told you P2 sometimes it goes, it goes direction. So this is pattern two. And this pattern two happens to break the neckline. Happens to break the neckline. You can see the market has broke what? The neckline. Pattern two happens to break the neckline. If we try to measure the half of this pattern two, let's see what was the half. Immediately the market came to the half, that's when the market dropped down its leg, it was retesting half. So it has broken neckline, meaning if this market, uh, the buy, it was just a retracement for it to go down, the market is going that direction. So I just want to give you the monthly analysis. I will not flip time frame. These analyses are only monthly. So have you noticed, had you noticed that pattern? Had you, had you noticed it? So we, we have that half. So the market can come and target to that area. For me, that's what I believe because I can, they can take this as a retracement. And the fact that we had a support area around this area, we had a support zone. Can you see this support zone? And the market broke that support zone. And they never activated. Actually, they never activated this double bottom because if they activated that double bottom, would have been thinking of a buy. It has not been activated. So that we have pattern. Pattern two, that's what the market is doing. So according to the GBP USD, for me, I'm team sell. I'm team sell. I'm team sell all the way. So I don't know, GBPSD, what you're thinking. The fact that pattern two, they might be going to pattern two. And the fact that we might have pattern three on the weekly time frame, and the market has broke our support for two months. For me, I believe this market is on an agenda to come here. I don't know why, but I'm team sell. GBPSD, I'm team sell. So comment down below, let me know. Which, what do you think? So let's go to the next one, GBP, JPY. I have said I'm not flipping on other time frame. You're just checking. So GBP, JPY, I think uh, it has the one candle resistance, uh, the one candle ranging. So there's that one candle ranging. So this one is just self, self like you can just see. You can just see. And... The market has, so the, the, the market structure is ranging. It is a buy market that stand to be arranging. Can you see guys, a buy market? Can you see that's a buy market, a very good uptrend. And then all of a sudden it does what? It does the, it does the ranging. Then the candle that was given out, this is the candle that was given out guys. This candle is a spinning top, meaning the market has, it's like it is in decision. It is not decided what it wants to do. So the candle is in decision. Then now when we check on the Forex pattern, we have to squeeze our chart to see what really made this market to stop. What made that market to stop? Can you spot we have a, a possible double top? Can you see? Our first pattern on the monthly is GBP, JPY. So we have this pattern on monthly, guys. So that's the first attempt. And then we have the second attempt. Can you see it?
And then we have, uh, we were using WBB. So for, for some reason, these guys made sure they will not give us a WBB. Can you see guys? They made sure they will not give us a WBB. So there is, according to our strategy, still we do not have a confirmation. There was no WBB. It would have been easier if this candle closed like that. It would have been easier if this candle closed like that. So there was no, there was no WBB in the in this market. There was no WBB, and the, and the fact there is no WBB, the fact there is no WBB, what it means, it has not given us some confirmation. So I still stand with this ranging to break either side, because failure of having WBB means the market can still go up. So I'm so eager to know what um what gbp jpy will do in the month of october because it has not given us an entry so if you are trading gbp jpy it can't be a long trade you can't hold gbp jpy this means you can't hold gbp jpy why because it has not given us direction so if you trade it trade it very carefully trade it as a scalping or just holding for four hours one day but don't hold more than that Let's go to GBP NSD. So GBP NSD, for me, I um what, what I'm seeing is that these people can break this uh sub resistance. There's a resistance here that has been attempted to be broken, figuring out that this is an uptrend. The market is an uptrend, that's market structure. There's a resistance that has been of a question. So we have one attempt, two attempt, three attempt. So GBP and SD for me, I don't know. I'm seeing more of a buy. Considering the bigger candle here, it is a momentum candle. So, and then considering that the market broke res support and then it is was like a fake breakout. So for me, I don't know. I'm feeling like this is more of a buy. But because we have not been confirmed, maybe when we start using lower time frame, we'll know the direction of GBP and SD. But as, as the monthly suggests, this can only be a buy market, buy opportunity. Let's go to GBP AUD. GBP AUD, on the other hand, can only be buy again. Why? The market, you can see the market breaking a resistance. Can you see, guys? So, the market broke resistance, meaning the market is an uptrend. You can see even the market direction. Market structure uptrend. The candle that closed, it's a small green candle. And uh, the market has, has a pattern. And this pattern is this double bottom. Can you see this double bottom? So we have a double bottom. Of course, double bottom suggests what? Double bottoms always suggest a buy. And then the market might be heading to the neckline. You see why? Because according to that double bottom, according to this double bottom, uh, the market broke half long time ago. So the market broke half. So it is on a journey to go and hit the neckline. So another thing you should point out, GBP AUD, we have some interest with GBP AUD and GBP USD because it is showing us the direction where it wants to go. That is 1,671 pips. And because market structure buy, previous candle, the October candle, a small buy, pattern double bottom. So GBP Audi is one of the trades that we want. So what I'll do, I'll come here, GBP SD, I'll put a, a blue, then I'll put GBP Audi a blue like that. So. I, I will be notified with those flags. So let's go to GBP card. GBP card, market structure. What do you think? For me, I think it's still a buy. Are you agreeing, guys? GBP card is more of a buy. You can see the market has really stretched. Um, the previous candle, GBP AUD and GBP card, it's like they have the same structure. Is a bullish momentum candle. Yes, it, it didn't engulf as a bullish engulfing candle. What that means is that um, the market having market structure is a buy, 
bullish candle, the previous candle is being a buy. Let's see if we have a market structure, uh, a forex pattern. So when you come to forex pattern, we have a double bottom on GBP card. Guys, can you spot this double bottom? Very clear, very clear. Where is our neckline? All the way, all the way. So again, we have a pattern on GBP card. So that being our double bottom, that being our double bottom, and that being our neckline, already the market is on the way to hit the half. So for me, I believe that this month, the market might be going to the half. So again, GBP card will be one of the pairs that you are paying attention to. So GBP card, again, I will, I will put, a, call what? I'll put a green. So it has so many reasons, so many reasons of buying, so many reasons of buying. So we come here. For me, I believe it can come to the neckline. So let's let's just say there's some light. There's some light on GBP card. Let's go to Euro USD. Uh, Euro USD. What do you think about Euro USD? What's the structure? So the market was coming up. So this is what is happening. The market came up, then went down, and then up. So we can see like this is just a retracement. The market is wants to continue to do like that. So the market structure, um, we can say is a, is a downtrend because it has a high and it has a low. The fact that this high has not broken there, we can say it's an uptrend. But as much as we are calling it a downtrend, we have a ranging market. This is a ranging market. The market ranged this area for long. Like this is almost an year plus. So the market has been ranging for this area. And the fact that the market didn't break there, uh, we don't know. So the market structure is arranging and we are waiting for the market to break down. So it's arranging. When you come to structure, when it come to price action, where we we where we look at the candles, the candlestick, it we have an indecision candle. Indecision candle is a clear statement that this market can buy or sell. So that indecision candle can just tell us what the markets want to do. When we, we focus on the Forex pattern, when we focus on the Forex pattern, for me, I can see there was a ranging market. There was this ranging market that the market broke out. You can see there was that ranging market. The market broke out. Let's see if they finished at the half. So we are looking at the Forex pattern to understand what is really going on with GBP, uh, with Euro USD. So did it, did it go to the half? Never went to the half. So there's higher possibility that Euro USD this month, it might be selling to activate and to fulfill that pattern. Again, this is not the only pattern, this is pattern one. So if you look to pattern two, we have a small double top. Can you see this double top? We have this small double top. And this double top, the market broke. Can you see it broke our neckline? Meaning it still have a way to go to this distance. So that's our small double top. So Euro USD still is screaming sell, sell. Like Euro USD still, I'll be looking for sale. I'll be looking for sale more than buying like i'll be looking for sell more than buying so you can see the reason of that sell so once we do more analysis on euro usd you will understand what you need to do so i will still highlight that let's go to euro gbp euro gbp uh it didn't it it it, it just euro gbp it's a very confusing pair because for me as where I stand, it, it is on a ranging market. And because I, I'm not sure between Euro and GBP, which is powerful, um, I think this is one of the pairs I'll be avoiding. If you can even check, yes, it's two candles, two green candles, there's no more information unless I go to lower time frames and see what is happening. That's when I can act, 
I can give you my full analysis. Bureau GBP on the monthly it is not telling me more information. And because this video is not for other time frame, it's only on monthly. Let's keep it. We will come back to it. Euro NSD. So Euro NSD, um, the market looks like that. It is confusing. Why? Because it's a one candle, a one candle ranging. And like I told you guys, I would rather avoid one candle ranging because if it breaks out, it breaks out very hard. So for me, Euro NSD, identifying it as one candle ranging, it, it makes me feel like uh, this market should be, I, I should wait. But, and you see, we don't have a pattern to support, to support my buy side or a sell side because it never activated this double bottom. And you see, there is a double bottom here that has been activated. There is a double bottom here that has been activated. There's a double bottom that is being activated, but never got activated. So there's now you can say, oh, Euro NSD, we have a double bottom. So the market has to go up. You can't say like that. You can't say like that. So Euro NSD is one of those pairs that monthly didn't tell us an, a direction. Let's go to Euro AUD. Uh, you need to understand Euro NSD, Euro AUD, and Euro card, they move the same. So if you are wrong in one, you can be wrong in both. Euro, uh, Euro AUD still, it has that one candle, one candle ranging. So I, I'm not comfortable trading one candle ranging. And if I do trade it, it will be a short term trade using lower time frame. So when I go to lower time frame and I find a pattern that is only on that time frame, that's when I'm comfortable trading it. But from the monthly perspective, we do not have an entry. So let's go to Eurocard. Again, you can see then Eurocard. Eurocard, what we have, we had a market, this market structure is an uptrend. You can see this is an uptrend. And then you can see the structure, the market structure. The price action is a bullish candle, though it didn't engulf. The pattern, we had two patterns. We had this double top, and then they activated a double bottom. So this double bottom, the question is, did it break our half? Eurocard, did Eurocard break our half? Do you think half was broken? I don't think half was broken, guys. So the, the fact that they never broke that half, it means a lot because it can turn to be a cup and handle, an inverted cup and handle, or it can complete. So the fact that they never broke that half, um, for me, I don't have a direction on Eurocard. Again, I will avoid it this month. Euro JPY, oh my goodness, Euro JPY. Hmm. We have an interesting pair here and it's Euro JPY. I remember when I'm analyzing this in the beginning of October, I came and I said, we have one candle, uh, we have one candle ranging and I'm waiting for the candle for the market to break. Guys, this market has broke this one candle ranging. Trust me, by the end of this month, it may not happen immediately, but Euro JPY, I'm looking for buys. Euro JPY will be my interest, why? The market might be going how many pips? 778. If I look at the back, do I have any obstacle? No obstacle whatsoever. Can you see there is no obstacle? So Euro JPY, I don't want to do more analysis, but it is one of the pairs that I will keep an eye. So let me just highlight it. This is how you do it. You, you remove the noise and now you concentrate with the pairs that are important. Let's go to Audi USD. How do you SD guys? Uh, it has been a very, very amazing pair because it's not volatile. So according to the structure, market structure is a downtrend. You cannot deny that. How do you SD is a downtrend has been going down. When you look at the Forex pattern, the price action, the price action, of course, this candle is a sell candle. The red one, the small red is a sell candle. Now we want to look for Forex pattern. We had the one Forex pattern here. We had this double top, double top that has never reached to the neckline. So the market is struggling to reach to the neckline. So for me, I'm looking at Audi USD for sales only because even if I want to buy, 
this double bottom cannot give me a buy confirmation. I need to wait for a green candle, then it engulfs, then I come check. So buying, it is so exhausting than selling. So I'm looking for sell on AudiSD. Once I do more analysis on other lower time frame, maybe you will be able to see the light. So we have to highlight that. Let's go to Audi JPY. When you go to Audi JPY, first of all, the market structure for me, I'm seeing it's an uptrend. Audi JPY has been going for an uptrend. And then uh, the market for some time, it has been ranging. It's called a one candle ranging. So you can see still the market structure, it's a one candle ranging. Yes, it's an uptrend, but there's a one candle ranging on that. And then what happens is that the candle that we got during October month is an indecision. It's like a dragonfly. Dragonfly, guys, means the market shall buy. But because we don't have so many information on this dragonfly, we can see the market breaking out on this area. So the forex pattern here, we have a double top. Can you see this double top? So forex pattern, we have a double top. And this is our neckline. So we want to see why did this market all of a sudden stop? Uh, the market stopped because it reached half and they have failed to break half. So most of most probably the market can create a what? Can create a, a cup and handle. So Audi JPY can create a cup and handle. So what we need to understand is that we can pay attention. The, the fact that we have a dragonfly and the da dragonfly suggests a buy, I'll be looking out DJPY on buy because I can't look for sell because selling out DJPY, it is not good. Why? Because the structure is supporting a sell. So I will pay attention on that. Let's go to Audi card. Audi card, Audi card. So Audi card have a triple bottom. So you can see there's a triple bottom. The market has been rejected on this area. And not only we have a triple bottom, already we had a double top. This is a double top. And the market is at the neckline. So we can't play when the price is at the neckline because this triple top, even it didn't give us an entry of a buy. So Audi card, again, I won't be checking on it because it's a trade that can mess you up. So I think that's a no. Let's go to card JPY. Card JPY is an uptrend, market structure, uptrend, so buyers are in control. Again, when you come to our, our Card JPY, you will notice that the candle we got here, it's like a, um, indecision, not a rejection a bearish candle. Sellers were rejected. Again, when you come and check, the Forex pattern here is a, is a double top. But this double top never gave us an entry. So for us to trade this double top, it is hard for me to trade card JPY. Why? It is neither a buy because if I want to buy, they need to break somewhere and they have not broken somewhere. For me to sell, they have to give me a bearish angle. So card JPY, I think it will be a pass for me. Let's go to USD card. USD card. You can see USD card, the momentum candle it gave us in the month of October. So USD card, I think uh, it really worked well in the month of October. Let's see how many pips it went up, 335 pips. So USD card, again, it, having, it's an uptrend. So you can see the USD card is an uptrend. And then the candle that formed the price action is a bullish momentum candle. The Forex pattern, that this market is making, we cannot call this a double top. Why? Because it is a triple top. So this resistance has been tested and we can see the market breaking. So according to monthly, we, are, we don't have a clue what the market wants to do because if it had broke out that area, we could have noticed. And even if it broke, it has a zone here to tackle with. So USD card, it's a pass for me. I don't think I'll be trading it. Let's go to USDJPY. So when you look at USDJPY, and this is what I tell you guys, when you when you think the market will give you a double top, you have to be patient until it gives you a double top. So USD USDJPY is very interesting here. Let me put one. So USDJPY, first of all, it's an uptrend. The market is going on an uptrend. And then we want to see what happened to this market 
you can see the candle still went up. So USDJPY has, uh, has completed this double bottom. We had this double bottom and the market has completed. Now we are, we are taking this as the neckline. So guys, all we can do is to wait for that neckline to break. Let me tell you in the month of November, don't do anything with USDJPY because uh, we cannot buy because no confirmation on the buy. Once that neckline is broken, the market is going that distance. It will be going that distance. So because we don't have um, confirmation, let's look at the left, what we have. Do we have anything to show us that the market can still continue to go up? You see, we don't have any, any hindrance because this, the first hindrance or obstacle is here. So the market will have gone up. So according to USDJPY, uh, you can look for, because I cannot look for sell because if this double top I'm seeing, it's, on, it's both on daily and on. So I think I'll just pass that. Let's go to gold. Uh, for me, I said, and I kept saying, gold, I cannot do anything until they come out of this place. I don't want to keep my, my hope so high. So gold for me, I think it's a no-go zone. And if I trade it, it will be a scalping way. No confirmation on monthly. Let's go to NSD USD. When you look at NSD USD, it's a very interesting pair because according to the monthly time frame, NSD USD had a, a double, a double top. Can you see that double top? It had a double top. And the double top apparently broke our neck, our half. The market broke our half, but it has really stayed at that area before heading to neckline. So I'm still looking for sell. I believe that once the market actually breaks uh, support again, this market is headed for sell. So I will highlight NSD as did on my watch list. NSD card, let's see NSD card. NSD card again, uh, we can look for sell because it's a downtrend. You can see downtrend, double top that has never reached neckline. So still NSD card, I'll be looking for sell rather than buys. So NSD card, I am willing to look for sales rather than buy. So I will still highlight it. NSD JPY, NSD JPY, let's see, to see what is happening with the NSD JPY. So what happened with the NSD JPY? I want to show you something. So NSD JPY, we cannot say that it has activated this double top. There's a double top here that we want it to activate and the market broke. The market broke this channel and it has never, the market has never went up. But what you can understand from here, it has it has given us a double top. And you see, we have a double top here, a very small double top. And this double top is asked to know, did it, did it break half? So NSDJPY, so we are looking at that double top. So if we look at that double top, it has not even broken half. So, NSDJPY is a no-go zone. I cannot understand it. I don't want to trade it. So guys, that is the monthly time frame. If you can see the highlights, I have highlight. From now, the highlights, I will pick three. From now, the highlights, I will pick three. And uh, I will tell you the ones that you should pay attention and the ones that you should avoid. So as uh, if I now go to higher time frame, if I go to higher time frame, so what did we say about GBPJPY? GBPJPY, I think we, we didn't get a conclusion. So what I do, once I do this, I will now remove everything that I have said I don't want because that's the way to go, guys. Once you decide what you want to focus, just remove what you have said you don't want to focus. On. Now from what you have chose, it has to go now to a good, good analysis on top-down analysis up to four hour. And then now the next video, I will tell you the pairs to trade and I'll still trade, tell you the pairs to avoid. So thank you so much for watching. I hope 
this video is one of the helpful lessons. Why? Because you'll have a way to understand what to what to pick, what not to pick. You will be able to know what to what to 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 leave behind. So so far, I have gotten from twenty two pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have gone to nine pairs. Still, if I do analysis on lower time frame, like weekly, daily, I will only remain with three that I'm looking at. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best, and I love you so much.